Hi all, my name is MJ and in today's video I'm going to give you three tips on how to make your local district band, your local region band, and even your Allstate band. I just want to put in a disclaimer before I start the video that I'm still a trumpeter in high school and I still have a lot of things to learn. But I just want to give some advice to those people out there who really can't afford lessons or they can't make their Allstate band they've been trying for years. I've made it at least a number of times so I feel like I can give you guys some tips and tricks about you know my process what I do to prepare myself for the audition so if you guys like this video give it a big fat thumbs up I hope to upload weekly on this channel and sorry the lighting is a little weird the sun's kind of going down and I'm in my bathroom right now comment down below also what you guys want to see me do next in a YouTube video, like whether it be a band story time or a band slash advice video. <laughs> I created a video a few months ago about why I didn't decide to attend the Governor's School for Arts and Humanities. So if you guys want to hear that story, just comment down below. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's hop on into it. First tip, and this is kind of a no brainer, practice, practice, practice practice efficiently too because there's some people who go on a practice room practice for five hours and those like three hours that they're in there they're on their phone and they're not really focused they're not really focused they're not really tuned into what they're supposed to be doing which is practicing their audition stuff you know if you practice an hour after school but you're really focused you'll beat that person who's practicing like five hours a day but yet not really dialed into what they're supposed to be doing. So just when you go into practice room, take it seriously and be focused on the job at hand. Tip number two, sight read a lot. That's not my first tip, practice a lot. And then second tip, sight read a lot. If you don't sight read, you won't make it into your state bands. If you're top tier all state bands, they expect you to sight read really hard stuff. <laughs> They expect you to like go in there and like know how to play the piece perfectly without even looking at it. There's two ways I like to sight read. I like to use Sight Reading Machine, which is a app that I got on Apple, um, the Apple Store, iTunes Store. It's a good little helpful app. It can see what type of time signature you want, what type of like mixed meter do you want, or do you just want to do like a plain um time or just a key signature. You don't have to do mixed meter if you don't want to. I recommend doing mixed meter practice sight readings just because especially I learned last year there's a lot of mixed meter once you start getting to the senior category. There's tons of mixed meter sight readings in all state um, auditions. The second one that I use is sight reading factory. It's a little bit more pricier than the sight reading machine. I only have to pay for like a yearly subscription. Um, my band director bought it for us. And that's really nice for her. She didn't really have to do that, but she did. It helped me so much. Go from like an average sight reader to like a better sight reader. It does really help you learn, you know, different rhythms that you might struggle with. And it's a little bit more specialized than the sight reading machine. You can go in and see what type of rhythms you want to put in for your sight reading. Like if you want to work on triplets, you can just say, I want to work on triplets. Or um, if your Allstate criteria says there's going to be like eight notes and then like an eighth rest, you can just click those two little rhythms and have that just in one chunk of sight reading. So it's really helpful for Allstate auditions. So yeah, definitely sight read a lot and I highly suggest using those two apps. Third tip that I have, know your material inside and out. This means like turns, scales, your solo, when you get in the room. You shouldn't be like, oh my gosh, like, is the A scale, is it B natural, is it B flat? Like, no, you should know it. It should be ingrained in your brain by the time all state auditions come around. And I guess this goes for like even like your district band audition, your regional audition. If you want to be that top, like, you know, chair, person, student, musician, you have to know all those things. Just, it should be ingrained in your brain, like I said. Because if you mess up on the basics, it doesn't put a good taste in the judge's mouth. You should be well aware to really focus on your basics and fundamentals too. Just because you might be practicing a hard all state solo, make sure at the end of the day, 
all that basic scale, all those basic terms, they should be in your head, ingrained. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm sorry about the lighting. It's kind of weird that the sun's going down. It's, I still have a lot of growing to do as a musician. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. It's just, these are like my practice routine stuff that I've been doing ever since high school. And ever since high school, I've had like the amazing opportunity to participate in my all-state band every single year. I'm just giving you guys the tips that I use, that I try to keep in mind as I practice, as I'm gearing up for audition season, because like, y'all, it's right around the corner, like in three months, audition season will be here. I wish you guys all luck in your practice preparation, you know. If you guys have any questions, just DM me on my music page. I love answering questions. My music page is MJ Harris 01. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below.